Hello. We have to make this video in five minutes, so I have to make this really short. So we're gonna eat lots of snacks. This is a snack haul from a place called Okashimachi, which translates pretty much directly into snack town. And we bought basically all these snacks for under a dollar. I forgot to mention, this is my good IES friend, Callie. She was free today and I couldn't eat all of these snacks. All right, oh wait, let's, let's explain what we have. This is... Kyabetsu. Well, it's something with squid and it looks like Papa Smurf <laughs> yanking on a squid, so... Oh boy. Well, okay. this is cabbage something, so let's dig in. Oh! Oh, these are good! I feel like it yeah. was rubbery at one point. Yeah. No, it's like plasticking over a bit. They have the consistency of cheese puffs, but take more like... Cabbage puffs. Cabbage puffs. It's called Umaibo, and these are very, very old, and they're very, very cheap, like nine cents cheap. This might be Mentaiko. I might be wrong. But it's people making rice flour, I think, so... I think it's rice flour, like All right. smoky rice flour. Go ahead and... Oh! This looks like a giant cheese doodle. <laughs> this is a giant cheese doodle. Are... This is literally just a giant cheese puff in a bunch of other flavors. These are ambiguously salty, but not bad. Together, they kind of taste like Jack's Mix. Oh, you're right. So our lovely friend from IES, Brittany, recommended this to us because she loves natto, and we asked her to choose something out, and she just gave me this, and she knows I don't like natto. I don't know what this is. We can figure out what it was at the time. I still don't know. We're gonna find out. But it it's has a, a yogurt. It has a tiny spoon. <laughs> if you vomit, we had the bathrooms right over there. It looks creamy. Mmm. It looks gelatinous. <laughs> they found it. Please smell this. It's all. It smells like natto. <laughs> it, let me try that first because I don't want to try this for the life of me because I just can't take smells. We'll switch. Here are some jeans. I don't know what I expected. I feel like it has like almost a coffee aftertaste to it, which is weird. I'm just gonna eat one. It's much less creepy than real natto because it doesn't have like the goobity look like st <coughs> sticking to it. She loved it. <laughs> Chocobato. Choco bat. It's a giant fluffy choco stick. It's fluffy. It's not um crunchy. These are crunchy noodles. Alright, next we have to eat these together. Choose your flavor. And so we've got these jelly sticks and it says yogurt jelly. Stop. <laughs> it jiggled. You know those little jelly things that come in cups? Mm -hmm. It's exactly this. This would taste better cold. Would it? I mm -hmm. think that might ruin this delightful texture. <laughs> Nah. Yours is Kalpish. I've, drink, I've drunk oh, enough Kalpish one year to know that. I don't know what that is. This though. tastes familiar, but I don't remember why. It just tastes exactly like the jelly that I eat one with the um, with little fruit chunks in it. Mm. Next we have to eat is this. Yes. Let's do a combo. Chocolate. Mm. On a stick. Oh my god, is it not coming apart? I think you break it. Little strawberry chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> My strawberry is pretty light. Tastes like strawberry milk, but... Mmm! But with chocolate. I almost said Christmas Kit Kats. That's entirely wrong. They're Halloween ones. <laughs> they're pumpkin. I believe they're limited edition, which is why I had to get it. These are, I believe... Ume? Umeboshi? Ume. Which is ply, plum. Well, this is you. Sour and salty. They're not bad There's from an objective standpoint, but from my standpoint, I do not, not like them. It's not something I'm personally into, but... What do you like ume? These actually definitely taste They do. pretty accurate. This for all you viewers at home of a Kit Kat. Fun fact of the day. Pumpkin in Japanese is cobble chop. <laughs> so now that we've finished this lovely guzzling of snacks, we're gonna try to polish the rest of these 